Buongiorno a tutti, this is Chef Rosario with the National Pasta Association. What I'm going to do today uh, is a surprise to me too. I was going to do something totally different. Then I went to the farmer's market and I bumped into this magnificent little zucchini, this little baby zucchini, so sweet, so fresh. So with zucchini in mind, I got this idea, say, I'm going to make uh, the spaghetti alla nerano. Actually, these spaghetti are a bronze dye, very rough, very rough surface that is going to absorb the beautiful sauce of the uh, nerano. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put my oven on, I did a while ago, and the water to boil. This recipe typically calls for fried zucchini, but I'm going to make a little lighter version with roasted zucchini. So, let's get working here. Zucchini, just cut the ends like this, a couple of zucchini at a time, and then slice them evenly in probably, I would say a quarter of an inch. The secret of this dish is that they have to be small, almost baby zucchini, very small. Okay, I'm gonna put them in a bowl and dress them with probably yeah, a couple of tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Toss them in the olive oil so they're evenly coated. I'm also gonna put a little olive oil on a baking tray. Okay, and I'm gonna put them right on here. If there is a little overlap, no worries, but try to keep them in one layer as much as you can. In Nerano, they use a special cheese called provolone del Monaco, the monk's provolone. But obviously, we are not gonna be going to Nerano anytime soon. Uh, so I used something also delicious and very similar. This is a cacio cavallo uh, silano from the area that has been aged a little bit. So has a wonderful aroma and uh, great, it's very buttery. So it's gonna be great for this pasta dish. I think this will be plenty. And now I'm gonna do the same with my Parmigiano Reggiano. I'm gonna keep them slightly separated. All done. Now we're gonna slice this fragrant basil, some nice uh, sprigs together. And I'm going to discard just the stem and, and I'm gonna slice them like this. I'm not gonna chop it because I don't want it to turn black. Voila, the basil is done. Now the garlic, you know the drill. Smash it and then you chop it like this. Ready to go, we have everything. Let's go and cook. It's gonna be very simple and fast. The key is the zucchini that are almost ready. Let's check. The zucchini, ooh, very nice. Sizzling and nice and golden, that's how I want it. I'm going to put my little salt. I have my eight ounces of spaghetti. Uh, this will cook in about eight minutes. So oh, that's all we need, a little patience. The pasta is almost ready. The zucchini are perfect. Look at this. And now I'm gonna finish my, my sauce. I'm gonna put about a um, quarter cup of oil in here, of extra virgin olive oil, some garlic. Some, some people like to put just a whole clove of garlic, just to give a little flavor to the oil and then remove it. You can do that, however, I like garlic, so I'm gonna leave my garlic into the sauce. The pasta is just about ready. 
And this time, instead of draining it in the sink, I'm gonna just put it directly into my pan, like this. This will capture some of the, some of the pasta water that I need to make my sauce creamy, just like that. So I'm going to saute my pasta with the oil and the garlic, just to get it creamy, I'm gonna add some pasta water. I'm going to add the zucchini. Yeah, maybe I'll save a few to garnish the final dish. Also, I'm gonna flavor the sauce with the basil, right there, and a pinch of salt. Some pepper and I'm going to keep it moist with the pasta water. I want to make sure the pasta water is going to give me the creaminess that I'm looking for. Oh, I wish you could smell it. Oh. Now I'm going to turn off the heat, turn it off, add the cacio cavallo. This will make a nice creamy sauce. A little more. Right there, see? This is what I was looking for. Should look almost like I added heavy cream to the dish without adding cream. So the dish is actually much lighter. See how creamy this? Look. It's not dry, it's creamy, mouth-watering, spaghetti alla nerano. Let's go and serve it. Signore e signori, I am proud to introduce to you the spaghetti alla nerano. This is Chef Rosario with the National Pasta Association, Share the Pasta.